Ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, welcome back to another edition, another episode, the Bob Does Sports Podcast, and let's start with this, big ticket, what the fuck are you wearing, man? Yeah, you look like an Eskimo. I just realized I look like a fucking blimp, is what I fucking look like. You look like one of those emperor penguins. You look like a Snorlax. <laughs> yeah, Joe, it's got the it's a Snorlax. That's what exactly oh. what it is. Oh. It's, the fucking thing. it's a Snorlax. Oh. <laughs> Why? Yeah. You just can't wear anything look- normal. Like it just it, it looks very good. comfortable. Yeah, it also he's looks like clearly the most comfortable person. It's on this wildly podcast. comfortable. As I mean, long as he has the AC in like Anchorage, Alaska. I'll tell you what, back in the day when I first met Bob and everything, he used to make fun of me. He's like, I was wearing boots. I was a stylish guy. I wore like tighter jeans. I thought I looked good. I was wearing flannels. The second I got fat, it's all about comfort. It's all about, it's all it's about. I mean, I wear sweatshirts. I wear things I would never wear, but I'm comfy. But Tick, you're not fat. You're just a little you're bit. Fat. You're just, you're just, you're just going towards that realm. There was a time, probably a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> where I was really teetering on chubby and fat. I was leaning towards fat. I can see your chin. It looks like you've leaned out a little bit. Angles, baby. It's the contour <laughs> course. He's just out here angling. I'm just out here angling, baby. Don't mind me. <laughs> but think I do agree. I don't. I don't think you're fat. I really don't. I, I mean, that's the key to being fat is you wear things that make you don't look fat, right? If I took my shirt off, if we got in a hot tub today, you'd be like, Jesus Christ, this guy is. Oh, I don't Speaking of looks, Yaman is sporting a full coat. That beard looks good, uh, though. Beard, <laughs> it looks <laughs> solid, but it no, is. It looks good, but that's the horror show beard. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it'll be gone by. It'll be oh, gone. By, heads. It'll be gone by Texas. I got to get a haircut, too. I was going to tell the ticket, though. And not this isn't there are some old and this is about myself. It's not even about the ticket. There are some old photos that Bob will pop in the, the chat every once in a while. We were skinny for a little bit, man. We were we oh, skinny you guys. Really good shape. You, guys, you guys were. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh no, FP, the photos of you from college. You you look yeah. oh, sure. incredible. Yeah, we go yeah. back far enough. I was pretty thin when I was <laughs> sick, too, Joe. <laughs> photos from the early two thousands where I mean, you know <laughs> the all time Joey D quotes when he said to Perez. You could still lose. You could yeah. lose sixty pounds and still be fat. Press. That's, <laughs> right. That's taken out of context, man. That's There's not no fair. good context for that. There's no good context for that. <laughs> he's right, though. The sick part is he's exactly right. I said the not so fat Perez. So I'm the so fat Perez right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stop, man. I'm not trying to. I'm not. I'm not trying. I'm just a drive-by banging, and I'm not trying to do that. It's banging. I mean, um, ticket. So, in all seriousness, last I'll touch on this. What's the AC at in your house right now? Like, it's got to be 68 or below. I keep it at a nice 68 to 67. Yeah. And when I go to sleep, when I sleep, it's around 64 to 65. I like it chilly, Bob. I like wearing sweatshirts. Do you sleep in your boxers? Depends. If I'm at 66, I'll sleep in my boxes. If I'm at 64, I'll be in sweatpants. Um, oh, he said depends. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, it depends. Yeah, if I'm in my depends, then I like to keep it at a balmy 72. You know what's wild is I didn't realize up until when we started traveling, Perez sleeps in the nude. What? <laughs> he, he doesn't all- wear a, a, a sliver what? of clothing. No, I, I, I knew Full something. Full on nude. Was- yeah. On you. I knew, I, I knew all something. Those wake ups, well. All those wake ups you guys do, I'm yeah. naked. Oh yeah. He's in his he's in his his birthday suit. Don't, That's right. Don't you but like Prez, you know I'm coming in that next morning to get the hangover clips. Like, do, do you worry about that at all? Uh I mean you should be more worried than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a me problem. Um no, I just I, I don't like things on me. Like I want to be, I want to. I want to have full range of motion. Um, and like, <laughs> I'll wear like athletic shorts at best. I'm not going to do boxers. It's a little too tight. But athletic uh, shorts. The Colorado buffs don't make it into the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Like when I go, when I like sleep on the couch at home, which happens a lot, I, um, <laughs> I'll i put at like athletic shorts on because I feel – I don't want to be naked on the couch. That's not right. Prez were only you, were you naked in the – in the foreplay, the original uh, Quail Lodge foreplay video when they came in, were you butt ass naked in there? Yeah, and I was sharing, <laughs> and I was sharing a room. I, 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 think, I think Joe and I were sharing a room too. 
with yeah. that one, okay. I felt like I did what was right for the brand. But at the same time, I felt bad about that particular wake up because he actually was in a really bad way. And it was like, an ambush. But I did feel bad coming in that morning. I just knew that it would be really good for them. But like having like Hannah Cook in there too, like coming in up on them, camera. Yeah. You know what I How mean? How long ago was that video? How long ago was that? It was March of over a year ago. No, 2021? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Um, I think it was like February 2021. 22. It was March. No, it wasn't 22. It was definitely it was. March of 2022. <laughs> you know what I was thinking of when we were just talking about like walking in on like Chris, you know, when we're on a trip and you walk into Yaman's room and his ass is just <laughs> in the <his> chair. <laughs> At all, Good thing you don't sleep naked, Yaman. It's yeah. just thunderflies and ass just in the air. A whole and, lot of cake. And his legs are in the air, kind of kicking yeah. back and forth. What is it? I'm like face down, like just pissed off. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> got this guy, like what? Oh, yeah. I like I like my my to be my alone time on those trips every once in a while, you know, just taking a nice nap with your ass in the air. You also come you in what, and he's You'll come in and he's just laying on the floor. Tom, oh, yeah. big floor guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's like a bath. Like Our side of the bed. You're like, where is he? And you're like, are you just laying on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> it's that thing. It's a, it's my Steve Nash moment. Dude, in in pre Bob to sports, like before you guys, like in the beginning of Bob to sports, like the trips that were like really, really <laughs> ruling on him when he was really in a bad way. I would be in my bed and you just see the living room light on at like oh, two in the morning. No. You didn't know what you were coming <laughs> out to. <laughs> Dude, opening those doors was scary because like you don't you don't know what you were coming in on. Like where he would be in the room, he was always ten times more pissed off than he is now. And it, it was just that was that was always scary. It was a different time. It was a different I will time. say the uh, the funny thing with people. People, I think, are starting to catch on with is the uh, the bang job bedrooms where we each kind of get deliberately banged on an Airbnb on each trip. And I don't know who's up for the next one, but I always feel like Jet should always get like a good room because I feel don't like. Be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he normally does. does. We know do. I, I do a good job of oh, making. We, we all do. I just don't room. want. I don't want to be put on a pedestal here. We all do. It's a. It's a big old split every trip. I I share rooms last. I've shared rooms on the last few. I think. Where I don't we think last? you've ever been. Hold banged. on. Hold on. Where, I don't where, think where, so. The bunk beds. You got banged on the bunk beds with me. Yes. Well, that was here. That was like that was in Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was. I don't think you. Oh, the Virginia. The Virginia, Virginia one. I'm talking about the Arizona one. Scottsdale. That was that was years ago. Yeah, that was a while. Where ago. where did we go last? Nobody Great knows. Question. You were good we were on Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Was it Cincinnati? Cincinnati. Well, that was a hotel. No. I'm trying to think of the last Airbnb we were in. Um, we were in oh, Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. I got banged. Wait, got, 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 got I banged. had the Harry Potter fucking bed banged. covered. That's true. Wait, where's banged. that? In Scotland. Uh, in, the, in, the, in Edinburgh. In I. The flat. Oh, I you, 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 you the last, no. I, I, took the last bang job for sure. I think hundred percent. God, I think I got the worst bang job in Canada when I slept in the piss room. You banged yourself. Mm. You took the. You banged yourself. Well, well, yeah, but that's. I'm just you saying. You took the master it, bedroom it, and you banged. Bob yourself. saw the square footage and just. Yeah, ran yeah I did. I did. Oh, square footage. Bedroom. It was a reverse, it was a reverse bang job. Yeah, tickets got cool. banged a few times too. Oh, Ticket and I and this and 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 yeah, the and, and bang has been banged a couple times. There's the original bang job. Yeah, we'll <laughs> the original bang job. The original a long one. Way. But I think we have done a really good original? job of sort of rotating that. Except scene. for Jet. Do I know? Yeah. I've been banged. <laughs> yeah, you, Jet, you are up, dude. But yeah, it sounds like I'm next yeah, you, for the you bang are job. Up. In like, Scotland, Jet and I shared a room. It was a we, recent bang job that I had. I, I, I'm telling you. Well, me and you shared a room in Scotland. We you shared an apartment. Yet. We shared an apartment. Okay. Yeah. Sure. But, but I'm saying bedrooms. You no, know, there was. It was. It was like one. It was that was fine. That, that was, was a great. long distance. There was like it was like a ten minute walk. Well, you Joe haven't sleeps. had a banging really. Not that no. you deserve it. I've had a banging, maybe it's not in a little bit, but I've been. Where do we go before Scotland? I'm telling you, I got. I got banged in Virginia, Virginia too. I got banged you in had Virginia room both times. Why'd you get banged in Virginia, Joe? That one course, that one place that was on the course. Oh, I he was on the couch. couch. He didn't slept on the couch. That was the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he all had these happened. glorious four bedrooms and then a couch in the middle of the living room. Sounds like I'm doing. That was one night though. 
No, I, I listen. I, I'm all for getting that banged. Was, on these I'll tell you what matches. happened. I think I think early on, myself and the t- there was one specific time myself and the ticket got banged, and then I I you I had oh. some bad I had some bad early bangings, and I've used them <laughs> as yeah. leverage throughout time, and I think my time is running out. Your time is up. Yeah, um, I think you're due for and that banging that you're referring to bangs. is not. That's not even our fault, right? No. So no, I'm just I'm just saying I I I up for the sins of pocket. others. I, I shared a bunk bed. I was in bunk beds at one point. It was a long yeah. time. I think uh, you all fun. agree. You're due for a nice bang. And bang. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah, Brad, you should order an Airbnb with just one shit room. And then oh, give it to Chad. Joe, Joe, sneaks, <laughs> Joe sneaks by because he can't share a room with anyone. Joe gets very lucky. Porn, so he, yeah. he always is guaranteed his own room, <laughs> which is brilliant, which I don't know if you do that on purpose. The snoring's uh, getting better, not, by the but, way. Huh? Apparently, the snoring's getting better. Apparently. That's what Nicole it, says. I don't know. I'm I wouldn't know to, if you told me, but apparently, apparently, with the sleep apnea, if you lose a little bit of weight, it's better, I guess. Hey, say, Cutsy, have you, are you skinny now? I'm, I'm skinny fat. You look, I, I, I'm, I'm actually, you know, the thing is, is, and Bob will attest to this. Like my shoulders and arms, I'm weightlifting, so I'm getting like more muscle. But I've got a gut that's like it's like it's like solid steel. Like I, I can't. I'm losing weight in my face. I'm losing weight other places. This gut, it's like it's like you almost have to take like a hammer and just break it like a piece of chisel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do, man. It's like I'm just like solidly rotund, and like everything else is jacked. I don't, it's it's a problem. Your your face is looking is looking thinner too. Yeah, I I'm, like I said, I'm skinny fat. Like I'm okay. not. I, I'm definitely not skinny. <laughs> That's for sure. I got a fucking gut that protrudes. Like if you see a silhouette of me, you wouldn't say that guy's skinny. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm making waves. I feel good. Like I will say, my stamina's gotten better. Like my endurance, even on the last the last uh, normally when we, do, what, when we what, do the what have you been testing it on? Or just I've been saying like when I like I work out and stuff like I'm on the treadmill and stuff like I can do a lot more. Even when we did the last speed challenge, like normally I would be so gassed. I think the last speed challenge was in Virginia, and I and I felt way better, like in terms of you know, running. Like I wasn't know, dying. You know who ran out of gas? <laughs> was it yeah. Yeah. I know y'all. Yeah. <laughs> no kick started sprinting. No, and I ran out of gas. Common had the chance to win, and I was screaming at him to get on his yeah. horse because, like, yeah. it just he had nothing I, left. I, I ran out of gas and I ran out of ass because I was, <laughs> I was, I first of all, I won, so I don't really want to hear it. But <laughs> my legs, my legs gave out. I couldn't. They were like jello. I was running, and I was almost laughing at the ticket when he ran first because he's like, "I can't feel my legs." I was like, "You're a pussy." And then <laughs> I ran, and I could not feel my legs earlier than he couldn't feel. It's like they were like falling off, and in that they, they go like I jelly, right? Eat. There's like moments where I'm like, I look, I look like what human male cannot run like. 300 yards like at a jogging pace <laughs> and that he ran better than me so i just like edited it in post and i would just like <laughs> angles to like the cart so nobody could see me just stumbling down the green yeah, yeah isn't it well, weird when it just turns to jelly like that there's just a moment where the f- switch flips yeah. and it's just your legs are just they're not they're hardly hanging on and you have like this mental battle because you know the guys are behind you you know the right. entire world is going to see this video you know your parents aren't going to watch it because they don't watch anything <laughs> that you do and then you just it's just it's just brutal you, you know? did win. You did win. But one could say coaching won that championship. I'm not sure if Bob not yelling at you the way he did. Yeah. If you would have oh, gotten sure, you, you were also yelling. You were a foot away from me yelling at me to like finish. I there was like I a wanted to see win. interest from you guys to see me win. Yeah. yeah. They don't want to see us win. Yeah. They, God does. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. I, I felt the support and I won. Take the it. greatest, the greatest speed golf of all time would be the Perez one, in Scottsdale. That's I, mean, I don't think you could shot. ever that drone shot of him like catching a second wind after eating tacos. It was. <laughs> I remember. It's my we, dad's favorite Bob does sports video. He we watches at, it all the time. When we were at the Doing Things Media Office, and we were having like a serious <laughs> meeting in the boardroom, and I remember looking out onto the TV. <laughs> And you see Perez just crushing a taco, and everybody's quietly working. And then you see that clip of him booking it and catching that second wind. 
<laughs> oh my god. Tick, can you do me a favor? Not to put you on the spot, but we did it for the two podcasts ago and it was it was so much fun. Can you read out your last 10 postmates orders? Oh no. Was, Has he was, still been going off? It was so much fun on the last one. He was going through it. It was the best. I'll I'll read it out. But I, I want to say one thing real quick, going back to Yaman's facial hair. I think it looks so good. It does. You should flip yeah. off the nightmare state. I think when you're shaved, that's when we need Bro, to start being I'm scared. Oh, yeah. The problem is I don't like – I have a side problem. I don't like, like – Do a goatee then. Do a goatee. It's yeah, why don't you get rid of this? Just get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would look good? Or no, no, the goatee oh, yeah. looks good. Okay. I think it would look good. Because I, I don't – it's just very not – me, you know what I mean? Like I don't. Yeah, let me see the sides. It's not. It doesn't fill in. Like it's. It's. Yeah, but I would do a goatee. Nuke that. Nuke all that. Yeah, just keep the goatee. Sideburns. Nuke that. Yeah, nuke I'm saying you got. But all, all I've ever wanted is a legit beard in my life, and well, you know how you get it. Or, you know how you get it. To fill like in? Shave. shave, 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 shave. Yeah. So I'm if saying it's even over time. One day it's going to start to. Over time, it's gotten like. This is even more than it used to be just based off. I, I think you're right. I, I think you are correct. And given the fullness of your beard and your hair overall, I probably should just trust what you're doing. <laughs> just see um, my back. Yeah. I do like <laughs> – I, I, I have kind of switched to where, like, this doesn't mean I'm I'm dead, you know, anymore. Yeah. Good. That's good. Anymore. It looks you're really good. Anymore. It's nice. I am, but it, this this doesn't mean it. But if I Garrett am. Clark can make the change, so can you, Yami. Yeah, Garrett Clark, a 22 year old multi millionaire with millions <laughs> of followers, fucking crushing it, dating fucking models. They put he on that do it. on that PowerPoint the other day from Quail when Joey D banged himself with the razor and he had to go all the way shave from Quail. That's oh, a tough scene, ago. man. They put that on the, the PowerPoint and cuts he put it in the group chat. He's like, that's fucking tough, man. <laughs> we need to go ahead and overlay that image right now. That was oh, it's. Yeah, I was just, you know, like, I was just, like, trying to, like, tidy something up, and I took a whole chunk out. And then there's just no way around it. It's just, like, you just have to go full commando mode and just shave everything. And I, at that time, and still am, I'm fat, and um, I had a double and maybe even a triple chin. And uh, I think the photo that was taken was um, including all of the chins and me resting the microphone on my stomach. It was an extremely <laughs> tough like... picture that is being pitched as we speak to Callaway. You look um, like, you look like, a, you look like if a black bear. It's like if a black bear ran a sports book. Is what you mean. <laughs> and also like in the front was like an Italian restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you uh, look like. It was tough, man. All right, it fellas. was tough. Uh, let's get a little bit of a drum roll here. Please. <laughs> is the big ticket last ten postmates orders? <laughs> ticket, well, ticket. do five, do five. Don't kill them now. Yeah, do five, do five. Last ten or last five would be about two, two and a half days. Um, yesterday I got the South Philly experience. <laughs> I got a I got a classic cheese steak, uh, cheese steak with with cheese. onions, with Ooh. onions and peppers, and I also added on twelve boneless wings because. Oh my God! What a South Philly experience! The South Philly experience. experience. Tell you what, it wasn't. It was no South Philly experience, but it got the job done. Next, I took a little yeah. trip to Thai, hours to Thailand. <laughs> um, I got drunken noodles with shrimp, pork, steak, and chicken. <laughs> and I threw in some chicken fried rice just in case I'd still be hungry after the drunken noodles. I don't want to be left hungry. Those noodles were know? swimming in protein. <laughs> <laughs> then the day before, I went back to the Philly cheesesteak, but this time I'm big <laughs> rolling Philly <laughs> cheesesteak. <laughs> Oh this time I, I opted for not the boneless chicken wings. I went with seasoned fries on the side in case I was still hungry. Just something a little lighter, something easier to digest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, before that, earlier in that day, I went to the East Bay Deli. Um, got myself a chicken Charleston. That's just a classic Charleston-style Milanese chicken sandwich. Um, that came with a side of fries. Decided on nothing else after that. Before that, you'll you'll find interesting. I ordered all the way, Bob. You know how far I live. I ordered Vitos. I had to pay an extra ten dollars on the delivery <laughs> to get 
three pepperoni slices and a mini Caesar salad, all the way from Vito's to my spot over here. Oh, oh my God. God. It was, there, it, it was there, cold. There's two Vito's. There's no way that that's that one. The one Vito's pizza. Holy that's one. shit. That that's guy the one. went. Now, did you find that the Caesar, did they, they probably put the dressing on the side, right? They didn't. It was in there, and, and the, really? the lettuce was wet by the time it got to me. And quite honestly, oh. that's not Vito's fault. That's my no. fault for thinking that delivery was going to make it in time. That's, that's on me. That guy might as well have just dropped the food off to you and continued on to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hell of a ride. Yeah, then we got some burritos, some hot wings, some sushi in here. I really travel the world when it comes to Postmates. Yo, that those <laughs> Tickets starting off with the South Philly experience <laughs> was so good. You just speaking of Philly, your Phillies, Phillies are city. in the big game tonight. Tim. You just can't get a good cheesesteak in this city, by the way. Jersey Mike's might make the best cheesesteak really in, in Los Angeles. It's a good cheesesteak, to be honest with you. Speaking of <laughs> what I was gonna what. I haven't been seeing you do any cameos, by the way, lately. I just got a request, by the way. Did you? Wow. I don't get them unless I I promoted it one time. I got like eight. I haven't touched it since. I, I needed to get back up and go. Yeah, oh yeah, you're just you just need that. Yeah, yeah, I know, Bob. You just need me on cameo. Yeah, yeah he's he's seen like, the guy's gotta put food on the table. How's he gonna fucking <laughs> pick that? <laughs> How's he gonna do it? I need to be on cameo, Bob. I need to be on cameo. <clears throat> I need me to be on Cameo, and I need you, the listeners, to buy the Cameo. <laughs> uh, speaking of the uh, – Cutsy, did you say something about the Phillies? Or the something Phillies about something? are – Phillies, big game tonight. A couple Phillies fans Vanderbilt. in here. What, yeah. what happened ticket in the, and in the ALC? Why do the Astros hate home field advantage? They lost Who every cares? game at home. You know, the Astros uh, – I'm so tired of the Astros. I cannot even – explain to you how happy I was last night watching the Texas. I've never, I don't think any, I don't think even the most hardcore Texas Ranger fan was as happy as I was last night to see the Astros lose. Yeah. Is it because, FP, is it because they're cheaters or because left field is 40 feet? Yeah, I, all of it. It's all of it. I, I, I'm just like, you know, I maybe I'm a hater. You know, I'm probably a hater, but I'm tired of seeing them in the World Series. You know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm sick of it. I'm but over and not, big Verlander have... guy. I love Justin Verlander. All that aside, I kind of like Altuve too. I, I, how could you not like that guy? I'm just yeah. tired of. I'm tired of him. Bro, they lose more than and people talk about them as this dynasty, which I guess they're always in it at the end. But they lose more than they win, right? Like they they lost in the World Series to the Nationals. How many have they won? Two in that time. They won two. They won two. Yeah. What two? six years? Seven years? <clears throat> oh, Pretty good, there. man. Every time. What? I got some good news for you. We got a new friend of the program that's been a prep friend of the program. And I never knew until yesterday. I got a text from Anthony Volpe, who apparently, and I, this guy had been following me for a while, and I had no idea who's one of your all time favorite MLB players. Me? He has been invited to the Breezy Lounge opening as well, by the way. My favorite MLB players? One of your favorite. You always talk about this guy. It's one. It's one of your favorite. Like if baseball comes up, you you Manny be- Ramirez because he's a random guy. Not a random guy. Oh, Kyle Schwarber. Fuck no, not Schwarber. You do talk about Schwarber all the Anthony time. Anthony Rizzo. Bingo. He's oh, not wow. definitely. But he had been. He has been with us for a while. And oh, and he's a fan of the program. Fan of the wow. program. Oh, wow. That's a real. That's big. He was a Cub, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's Yaman's boy. That is cool. That is that is that is very cool. Yaman's was, new boy is Alex Caruso. He well, was, I like Alex Caruso is is a very cool and a nice guy. Yeah. I thought he was great. Yo, there's a um, there's a for the Brilliant Dumb Show. We have an ad called "The Paint Your Life," where like you could take a picture that you have and like they'll they'll paint the picture oh, no where's this going in order to use for promo they want to do something where they could paint the picture do you know how much fun i'm having deciding what pi- i got <laughs> i got albums i got five fp pictures oh, oh no. my oh, no. god I have, a, I have a ticket album where i have ticket and manzel from the green <laughs> And then the one I'm starting to lean on is Ticket and Caruso from Five Iron. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a portrait to where I think that might be in play. The Menzel um, one's pretty iconic, though. I agree. But, like, 
the one of him and Caruso just like in a painting would, I want something that's just so bizarre. And then the other one that got tossed around was um, the jet from Ole Miss where he's making that crazy face. While he's- <laughs> no, I mean, in Buffalo. From Buffalo. Buffalo. Oh. That's my favorite picture that's, of the jet. Where he's in the wind and he's like, you know, he's in the- <laughs> you know, bro, that's, you know that's-, that's me. It's us. And Lars Lewis. Yeah. And there's yeah. the person in it, I think. Uh, Maddie Rigatoni is in there. Yeah, FP was – it is unbelievable. <laughs> FP was in that video, and was- nobody ever knows – that really FP's in it because he was so hungover. Nobody was drinking the prior <laughs> night, and FP put down like 25 beers the night before. It was literally nobody had a drink that night, and it's just Perez with two <laughs> fucking 12 cases. The bat blue like it was oh, the bat blue is good. good. Yeah, you want to talk about a bang job of a of a stay? We should still be getting you know recoup from that bang job we took in oh, in Buffalo. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that was like, but it's unbelievable. Like that's before all the golf. So like, yeah. it's so funny. Just like knowing Perez, like we offered Perez just to come on the trip. Of course he said yes. Wasn't he at the, did he pick us up at the airport? He drove you guys. Yeah. yeah. I picked oh, up. Yeah. I drove up. I drove up to Buffalo from Virginia. In the white, in the Lincoln, in right? The, was in, the, in the Buick. In the Buick. I yeah. picked up Rigatoni. Yeah. We want to sit back Perez. Yeah, went to the hotel and then I picked you guys up from the airport with Rigatoni. Yeah. After that was the- back when you had a full time job too, so you must have taken time off work. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him now. Yeah. Well, we, it was um, obviously it was on a Sunday. I think I drove up play golf in Pittsburgh on the way, and then I stayed in Pittsburgh. And then that Monday I drove all the way back to Virginia. Which is like nine hours. I'll never do it. <laughs> but I did do it again because I drove back from Boston. Oh, the Boston! Trip. I drove up to Boston. <laughs> I did do it. The Boston drive by. You were driving. It was like Bob and I were in bed. Perez was texting us. It was like three in the morning. He was still driving home. Remember that, Bob? I remember um, that, fellas. Something we we got to discuss. We have gone. I mean, the the fact that we have got these clips on camera. Uh, of course, you got the greatest video that the internet has ever seen with Joey D banging his head into the garage door. And then a newcomer is Perez <laughs> going down the stairs at his house, of course, with two <laughs> pizza boxes in his hand and wiping the fuck out. And to me, the funniest clip part of it is after Perez wipes out and we'll play the clip, he just sits there and collects himself for like <laughs> five minutes. Perez, you got to take the folks through just that entire clip. Yeah, I was throwing away some empty pizza boxes. It was uh, it was raining, and I uh, <laughs> the the steps were wet. I had Crocs on. Um, Crocs are not good uh, wet weather shoes. And I um, I ate shit. And I think we've all uh, I think we've all f- maybe all fallen at some point, or maybe fallen down some stairs. And you're just you're just I'm just mad. I was mad. I was mad that it, it had happened. Hmm. Um, I was, and then I even got more upset when I realized that my wife was just inside the back door and seen the whole thing because she oh. checks on me. The last thing I needed is, was to to be asked if I was okay. Jeez. It's not like what if I said no? Then what? You know what I mean? Like there wasn't a, she wasn't gonna. There's nothing to do there. She should have acted like she didn't see it. That's what I would have done. Oh. <laughs> if I was her, I would have I would have absolutely act, like walked away and acted like I didn't see it, knowing that she probably would have wanted no one to ever know that it occurred. Um, so yeah, I just sort of like sat myself up on the step and I wanted to like, I don't know. I wanted to like 
punch the steps, but then that didn't make any sense. So I was like working through my anger, <laughs> um, of how I, who I could be mad at, what, how I could handle this. My, my grandmother was about to come over. So I was like cleaning up the house. I had to go shower. Cause I had like, I had like gotten stuff all over my arm from the fall. <laughs> I had to like do laundry cause the shirt, it was a white shirt. So that got all fucked up. It was just a, it like, I knew, and I knew all of that in that moment that like, Oh great. I've fallen. She saw it. I have to shower. I've got to do a load of laundry that I wasn't planning on doing all to just like throw two boxes away. I, uh, told and the Brad, pizza was not even that good. When, oh. With all due respect to Virginia, we love Virginia. They're just not known for their pizza. No, no. There's like a, there's a couple spots. I brought. Um, we we had that trip there, uh, the last <laughs> night. They get banged them. Banged me. I picked up what <laughs> is um, considered or voted on to be at least a top five pizza in the city <laughs> uh, on the way it was perfect i was like great like i can like i'll pick up dinner and like i can actually have something that's like legitimately decent for these guys <laughs> so i show up at this pizza so i'm kind of proud of it i'm like hey this is like the good stuff that we got i got the best for you <laughs> i think it takes one taste he's like yeah yeah it's like it's got a little chucky e. cheese to it <laughs> and I was like, great great uh, to be fair, I didn't hear you say that it was the best you had to offer. If I had I'm heard that, you, I would have well, given I'm you. I'm glad you were honest. I would have given you a stellar lie. You know I what that was, you. Prez? That was the South Philly experience. <laughs> <laughs> it sure as fuck wasn't, man. But you you can't imagine that Virginia is going to offer up some good, maybe barbecue or or oh, I don't even know chicken. what you guys fried chicken. There you go. Oh yeah. Chicken. That fried chicken and, and and the Wegmans was the was incredible. Wegmans is fantastic. Yeah. Wegmans that's though not we a can't. Virginia thing, we can't it? take pride in. Yeah, that's not ours. That's, that's gross the pride of. That was my first experience. So as far as I'm concerned, it's Virginia. Virginia's the grocery go. the grocery capital of of the world. That's the pride of Penfield, Rochester, New York. <laughs> also, FP falling downstairs. I think as an activity is the most humiliating human experience. <laughs> because to yourself, because it's a battle with yourself. You got to look the man. At, when you fall down the stairs, you got to look the man in the mirror. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it doesn't help that you had the woman in the mirror behind you being like, oh, are you okay? yeah. now you're double dipping? Well, it's there's a battle with back up. I got to back up Ann Cole there. I think of course, of course. But you did the right head. thing. Oh, I just didn't I, need it. I, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But she's Never not thinking it. in her head like, oh, I shouldn't ask if he's okay. Like it was such a natural. It was a. It was yeah. a big. It was a big yeah. fall too. Falling down the first. Down the first stairs yeah. Takes falling downstairs like takes time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. you hit one stair and if it doesn't end there, yeah. it you can like set your watch and like hear it ticking as you like roll down these stairs. It's it's a. I've, I've done it. It's a brutal. The only step. reason I stopped where I stopped was because it was a short step. Like a exactly. short it ended. Yeah. If I was at I the top of a of a of a of a whole floor staircase, I would have gone all the way down. There's, there's like <laughs> a 40 <laughs> second <laughs> play clock. And then there's I wouldn't literally know. there's literally a play clock 40 seconds, and halfway through yeah. they can do this and bump it back to 25. So I've got two I, things here. The first one is I understand her checking on me. When I say yes, I'm okay, I definitely don't <laughs> yeah. need the are you sure? I almost yeah. never need right. double the down a question. I never need the are you sure? I wasn't that's, kidding. That's like, I wasn't fair. lying. That's a personal thing. And then the <laughs> other thing, Yaman, is a good point on the falling down the stairs. I will also say that falling upstairs isn't great either. You know, when you sort of miss one and you kind of just it's kind of like Yaman did in Scottsdale. Did in Scottsdale, dude. Because if you fall downstairs, Scottsdale special. If you fall downstairs, right, you've sort of created some distance between somebody that potentially is behind you. So you've sure. got some time. When you fall up the stairs and there's people behind you, it slows everything down. You've got to like quickly pop up and be like, my bad. And like, you know, you sort of do that little like hop. You know, you hop up and you just sort of like you hop around, like, oh, don't know how that happened. Like <laughs> It's not a good one. Every every time, probably for like the day after, every time you saw some stairs, you're like, fuck. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and every time you walk, you were extra careful walking down. Well, I'm using the railing now, which is yeah. not a good thing. Like, my, I don't want to be that. I'm not, I'm not at the railing point scooter. in my life. Yeah. Do you my know, takeaway from this would be as someone who's been involved in a, a, a viral, you know, incident <clears throat> where I I absolutely look like an idiot. There's two ways to go about after the initial fall or thing concurs 
there, there's two methods to approach. Perez took one, I took the other. So I'm a big spring right back up kind of guy. So like Not just Perez. basically like take any element that I am hurt or anything out of it to try to take away the notion of people focusing on me. Perez took the other approach where he just almost like kind of just, he almost just accepted it. He just almost just kind of took the moment in and said, I ain't going anywhere. I'm just, you, I'm just here. I'm not going to move. You do you think about it? That is so Perez to just like fall and then just like take a moment and just kind of like, just take I'm a not. second to gather. <laughs> That's what I would have done. I, it made sense to me. And then 15 minutes later, I go, I go inside. And I'm like, you know, I'm taking these sweatpants off, doing all this shit, showering. And then it hits me that there's ring camera footage of it for sure. And then I'm <laughs> in this like moment of like, damn, like I know, I know what I should do here, but I really don't want to do it. Oh man. It was, and I did. And I, you, you know, get, I, did I, you I, have I a big content, ass bruise? I put content first. He sure did. He sent it to me. And I remember. The next day, and this is no joke. I was I was playing on the course and I was playing like shit. And I I, I seriously remember hitting a ball that goes into wa- the water. And originally, like I wanted to be so pissed, and I watch it splash. And in my mind, I thought, at least you have the press video to go back to that you still have to post. So like going OB was not the worst thing at that moment. Like I told Press, my day was substantially better knowing that I had that video. Um, but up the video, it's not a video, but I would kill, I would absolutely kill for the video that broke tickets back of when he was, when he was wearing the wool ones, <laughs> the socks, no, the wool socks. Cause that was a different ticket back then. So like to see him go down at that time would have been wild. I was coming down the stairs like it was Christmas morning and I just fucking see the, what the worst thing about <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing about the fall for me was it was a full length set of stairs. If you fall down the stairs, you want to just fall and take a seat like you did. But I did this thing where I fell onto my my back, and then I took like a little bumpy sled ride yeah. down the rest of the stairs. It was just like killing my lower lumbar, <laughs> and it's echoed throughout my life till this day. And I'm dealing with it, honestly, today. What and I always this? laughed at that, and I got karma for it because now me with the back issues that I got going on, like I always found it ridiculous that you needed like five ibuprofen, like you would stretch before you play golf. Like I get it now, and th- there's really no worse injury in the world. It sucks. It just it's so aggravating. It's that tiger back, bro. I took I so I went to the driving range yesterday, and I know that my back is fucked every single day afterwards. But I was going to bed last night, and I. <laughs> I got a, a message in the DMs from this guy. Um, I won't say his name, I guess, but he he hit me up. He goes, "Hey, ticket, big fan here. I think I saw you grinding over at Arroyo Seco <laughs> today. <laughs> I'm an instructor there on Mondays. If you ever want some help on your game, I'd love to help you as best I can oh. on the house, of course. That's so awesome. I must have been. It was, the sun was setting, so I couldn't see a single shot I was taking. I had no idea how I was doing." But I guess I guess this guy saw and thought maybe I need some help. Hey, you were grinding though. I was like grinding. grinding out there. That's awesome. I love that. Oh god. That's oh, amazing. That's so good. Do we um do we have any Q&As here today, boys? Take sure a, do, Bob. a few Q&As. Let's fire away with a little Q&A sure segment. Do, Bob. Um first question comes from V Fat Perez. Uh, he wants to know, is Binyamin committed to the XL life? <laughs> Does that mean like size XL? Yeah. <laughs> Got to ask him. I did ask that question. Um, yeah. The, are you committed to the uh, XL? Are we, are we talking like XL, like Grant, Grant Cardone 10 XL? Or are we talking like, that? <laughs> like, like the shirt size? Shirt size. Are you committed to the XL life? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, the answer is no. The answer is no. Actually, I don't seem too bad once you get there, man. I'm wearing, I'm wearing them, but I ain't committed. You've been dipping your toe into that L life, I've noticed. Yeah, I've been taking L's. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> but, but, but I, the thing is, it's all, it all depends on. I'm still at the point where different brands will fit differently. 
You know what I mean? So yeah, we're like, I'm That's still an L. Oh, 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 you know what they call that life? They call that excuse life. <laughs> I'm mode right now. That's, I don't know. That's definitely not. When you me, start but... when you start blaming it on different brands and I'm not, not blaming, blaming it on no, yourself. I'm not blaming brands. I'm just saying. I I'm will. L... I'm going to say that the the move from XL to double XL is a lot more concerning than the move from L to XL. No, I disagree. I, I just I, I don't know, know man. No, when I, I, and I started I mean, going double moving, XL. Bro, moving, on from, to something. moving from from like L. To XL is like a three pointer to a layup, and then it's like a f- like one step out. That made no sense, but you get what I'm saying. It's such a bigger jump to go from L to XL because that's a big deal. I don't know. Once no, you're, once I you're don't in the think paint, so. Once you're great. in the paint, you think no. L, the XL double to XL? To it's, it's a statement. I think the I double think XL is a statement. Like, I disagree. The funniest clip is when Ticket talks about like how bad of a day is when you go like from the L to the XL. And like tickets always said, this is going to be the fattest year of his life. Like, take it. Wouldn't you agree? Like that, if if you do step into that double XL, that like would when that hit harder. You, when you move from L to XL, you can fool yourself that maybe I'm getting kind of jacked. Yeah. <laughs> if you go from XL yes. to two X, like, <laughs> fuck. It's oh, let me, let me tell you. That's some let South me, Philly experience. Let me tell you about when they start turning X's into numbers. Let me tell you about that life, okay? That's, that's the real jump. The jump where they stop adding X's in and they just put a number in front of you, okay? That's when they've got barely enough fabric for you. They don't have enough in the room for more X's and stuff. That's the guy. <laughs> FP, am I, and this is a serious question. This is a serious <laughs> last last week I was told by and again I know we were just no, like liars around here but last year I was last week I was told in this call that I was looking thinner and now you're telling me that I'm committed to the XL life so I oh, know I think I'm asking too I agree I agree with you I asked that question weeks ago Oh okay no fair but I'm saying so you're not you're okay I got it and to me once you add like S, M, and L, they have one letter. Once you have two letters in a size, you're banged. Yeah. And, they, and, they, and the X, to make it an X, too. Yeah. Like yeah it's, like, it's like fucking put up the X. It's, yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> but it does I think the facial act. hair helps you, too. You look, it's facial hair makes it everyone. Does. It makes you look it it wow. it it contours it. your face. Yeah. yeah. All right, so maybe I am an XL. When I was at when I was at the when I was at the Four Seasons, they're like the Yankees, where they make you shave your beard. Oh. So there's that's when I was plump, dude. So there's some there's some horror picks back there that, that I got I, one saved just for good from good the cafeteria. Measures. Yeah, yeah. No, I got one too that uh, Jim Ossie sent me of you wearing a chain, Jim Ossie. on the side of a <laughs> on the side of a oh, patio. No, Oh, I need to see that. It's the photo oh, they use in those, in those thumbnails where they're like, how did this fucking clown go from the four seasons to building the Bob Does Sports Empire? And it shows you <laughs> in that photo. It, okay. It's pretty bad. Bro, when you go to the four seasons, they give you, like, when you first go through orientation, they take your picture. And I took an all-time bad picture. <laughs> the, the light was on me. I was rosy. I looked sunburnt, but I wasn't. <laughs> and I, I had a shaved face, which always makes me look fatter. I just have no neck all of a sudden. And Bob at one point became a manager, which gave him access to like all the employees. Oh, yeah. oh, and he no. one day randomly just sent me that picture of me. And I was like, geez. And that was the beginning of a, a long time of bangings from pictures from Bob. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They gave me uh, access to all the employees so I could just see <laughs> all those photos. And I used to just send those photos around. Yeah, that was. Oh, I got it. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Do I have permission to fire here? Yeah, I mean, look, how can I say no? <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? Chain gang, baby. Chain gang. Who is oh, that? Man. <laughs> oh, man. That's really bad. That's, That's a different guy. That's a different guy. That is That's not pretty, the same uh, That's pretty deal. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's before right. handshakes were exchanged. Okay, let's do another Q and A. Next question. This one comes from E underscore Penya. Penya, um, are you boys coming to Texas anytime soon? Oh. 
yeah, yeah, that's a layup. Um, we're actually we're flying to Texas tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we, we are. We're, we're coming, the Longhorns game. I think we could say this now. We're filming with which I think will be hook them, which will be a lot of fun. Um, we're filming with Young Jamie from the Joe Rogan Show, um, mm-hmm. which would be awesome. Um, and uh, Prez, you're gonna have to do that impression for him. I know. I he's gonna, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say. I think at one point, and it's it's gonna be super corn. You got to play it the right way, but at one point, you got to be like, "Hey, Jamie, can you pull up the seven iron for me and just like see what he got?" Not that seven iron, different seven iron. He's gonna be like, "Yeah, go fuck yourself," because people probably like. But with that being said, stonks. Yeah, stonks. All right, let's do one more. Okay, Um, this one comes from Cole Dot Miller three. If there was a zombie apocalypse, which one of you guys would survive the longest? Hmm. Probably Yamin. I think you, Cutsy. I think Cutsy too. You think me? I think Cutsy. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Why? Why? Why, why do you think me? Um, you'd be walking the streets, fucking shirtless, with your clothes <laughs> torn apart, just not giving up, and we just mail it in. I, I would say, a, a, you, wouldn't be, like, you wouldn't come to terms with the fact that we're going through an apocalypse. Like you would still go about your day, like in a normal. <laughs> Like, you, know, you, still, you still would have gone to MVP today. Like, you the golf course so empty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, could, we could play Rancho Park now, Bob. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Like, so that, and um, yeah, I, I would say Cutsy. Perez? Who would be the first to go? I think, uh, yeah, I would agree just on just sheer survival instinct and just bullying his way through. That would be the case. <laughs> I feel like I would die <laughs> in the effort of like figuring out how you guys keep living. Like that's what would kill me would be like trying to organize your travel through this <laughs> and, then, and then dying because I can't keep you guys alive. <laughs> <laughs> Tick, Tick would die from a postmate zombie. <laughs> He'd open the door for the postmates and the zombie would just end him. <laughs> Jet would be thrilled. Jet would be yeah. I'm, I'm ready. Jet would go right yeah. into the swarm. Yeah. I'd they walk out with my hands would just be able to blend in. <laughs> just walk out with my with my hands up. Jet would become a zombie on purpose to come and fucking kill us. Yeah. That's what he'd do. But I'll tell you what. There'd still be a Bob to Sports episode being released that Thursday. <laughs> you, you bet your bottom. Yeah, by the way, I was talking to Tick before. We're running into some issues. Oh no! Oh boy! Yeah, we've oh, had no. yeah some what issues. Is, you want to talk issue? about it or? It's just no. It's just funny how you said there'll be a Bob to Sports that Thursday because me and the Ticket are currently devising a plan to make sure it happens. Because <laughs> yeah, we don't want to travel. We're doing, and we've had. We're doing people. the longest trip. I think we've maybe. This is going to be weeks. longer than Scotland. I think this two two full this weeks. I believe two weeks in a day. <laughs> two weeks, oh. two weeks in a day. Yeah. And then we're going good. back to New York. Um, there's going to be a lot of content to come. The boys are headed back on the road, folks. We love you. We appreciate you. Make sure you go ahead and smash down that subscribe button. But we will be back all together starting this week. So a lot to come. Joey D, Fat Perez, Binyamin, the Big Ticket, myself. We'll see you next time. It's been another edition of the Bob Sports Podcast.